another layer on top of the map that you're drawing of like the meta uh, circumstance that I feel like I moved through and actually a lot of people are moving through right now is okay so the intellectual dark web coming out of the new atheist movement broadening it bringing in many perspectives but basically rebirthing dialogue um, between a collection right. of renegades and charismatic individuals that was the breakaway from accepted inherited knowledge being relationship to religion church the religiosity of your parents but also the religion of the blue church which is the which is the carrying over of that relationship to authority into our relationship to media and governance structures and centralized bureaucracies things like the bbc um, being perhaps the most pristine and trusted example of this um, so the IDW is the break away from that. But then there's another stage, you know? So we're still kind of, we've broken away to renegades and this group of intellectuals, Douglas Murray, Sam Harris, Jordan Peterson, Brett Weinstein, and so forth, all with a very wide range of ideas, all talking to one another. But it was still them doing the talking and them being the experts. Mm. And so the, if you're looking at it like a kind of a branching pattern, it's like they're up here and we're all sort of downstream, you know, down on the branches. But we as the kind of the roots of this are not talking to each other so much. So that's when this next phase comes in of like rebel wisdom and the stoa and you know, not so much the sort of brand of that, but the spirit that caused people to constellate around this thing called sense making and um, the kind of resurgence of philosophy and self sort of aspiration towards integration and spiritual development as important in life. Um, all of those things cause this constellation at places like the Stoa, um, set up during COVID, of course, when everybody is even more um, isolated and everyone becomes like in their own home. And in fact, also much more vulnerable to the chaos that's coming out of the media ecology and the institutional breakdown and all of that, like, that's going on and then COVID separates us more and makes us more vulnerable and tagging on this thing from Hannah Arendt that I didn't fully read admittedly, but it, it resonated when I heard it, which was that people's, people's societies who are isolated are more prone to totalitarianism. Hmm. Um, and this maps onto my uh, sort of inquiry into the nature of like Chinese communism, um, where the family structure was very tight knit, but there was no real civil society. So everybody was separated and made it very easy to make it kind of all of us separate nodes in relationship to a godlike state. And so we're really in an effort, I guess, we're not necessarily conscious of what we're in, but we are in something that has brought us together in these contexts where it's like, okay, you know, I'm interested in this thinker and you're interested in that thinker, but actually what's going to happen is we're going to cultivate the horizontal aspect of this, you know? It's like you, you know, Sam Harris is up here, Jordan Peterson's up here, and then down here there's us. But what happens when we start all talking to one another. Now you've got like a really complex, um, you know, better with scientific language. So you can probably think of the name for the kind of shape, um, like a tetrahedron or something. But um, so that's, 
that's the that's the layer that I want to add to it. So yeah, was, we have like your personal journey, and then we have the meta story. And the more that we can bring those into the actual same reality that they are, the more interesting things I think we'll get. Yeah, that was that was beautifully beautifully laid out. It was like I was. Yeah, I'm seeing seeing the continuity between my own journey and then how this is meeting up with your journey. We're coming together in these spaces and in increased participation. Because for the feels like for the for the past however many four years on this journey, it's like I've been observing. I'm on my own individual journey observing these sort of things emerge and, and these conversations taking place in the intellectual dark web and, and increasingly there's this sense of actually participating and being involved in those conversations. Um, br bridging between the, the individual journey that I'm on and the the collective the collective journey 